We have to get audio. We don't have it yet, but I would like to get some. Uh, to, maybe maybe not today, but talk about Paula Zahn. Uh, apparently, her Ooh. wonderful marriage. She's a naughty girl. It I, seems I, could be a naughty girl. Apparently, one who loves to rip the Opie and Anthony show yes. should they be fired. Apparently, likes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently. But well, isn't she supposed to like <laughs> with her husband? With ah, her husband. Ah. See, she's a married woman. Ah. And there are allegations being made, certain allegations being made, that perhaps she's in some extramarital uh, affair. Yeah, apparently that's what they mm. say. And, uh, oh, naughty, that's... Uh, naughty Paula. That's not good. That's all hey, right for a shock Hey, shock. Paula. Paula's a fair shock. Where's Paul, my Paula Zahn? Paula Zahn's teed off hubby oh didn't know God. that Steamy didn't... Wait, all right, wait, 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 thank wait, you, wait, 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 let me do this. Steamy. Paul Zahn's teed off hubby didn't know that steamy sex tryst between his wife and an old pal were par for the course for years. Okay, who's the husband? Because teed off and par for the course. It's just, it's, it's, it's a golf thing. We got a golfer. Is he a golfer? The illicit years, uh, the no, illicit real golf. years long love affair between Zahn and business big. Paul Freiborg was sizzling even as Freiborg hit the golf links with Zahn's real estate magnate um, husband, Richard Cohen. Mm -hmm. Richard feels betrayed, one pal said, and he only found out the truth from a tell-all manuscript. Zahn wrote that down. Hey, you guys speak up. Oh. Uh, from a tell-all manuscript, Zahn wrote that documents her relationship with... Conti Group CEO Freiborg. Oh, so she wrote a manuscript about it. Oh, you naughty girl. Wow, she writes down her little... So then... Let me pencil. Wait, it's... So then I took his balls into my mouth and sucked on them. <laughs> he treated my asshole like a punching bag. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, it's a lurid and shocking handwritten account of their relationship, said a friend who asked oh. not to be identified. I remember making a noise like this. <laughs> As my lover made this noise. Oh, oh motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> he treated my eye sockets like two separate wombs <laughs> and came buckets full of them while I rapidly blinked out the seed and judged Opie and Anthony on my cornball CNN show that nobody watches. Cunt? <laughs> Did I call... Uh, cunt, you are. Hey, cunt. Did I really call uh, Zahn's husband a real estate magnet? Yeah, that's <laughs> a I'm, magnet. No, what he is, he's a cunt magnet because he attracted her. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. Fucking rotten bitch. Sources declined to discuss any details of Zahn's love book or where exactly it was found, except for except to say she was indiscreet. Ooh. The former oh. CNN anchor's affair with Freiburg became public knowledge in April when it was announced that Zahn and Cohen were parting ways after 20 years. Oh, so she was apparently or allegedly fucking this guy while she was... I didn't know if it was before the marriage. That's what they're saying, Jimmy. That's oh, what they're saying. wow. Dirty. And she wrote it down. What a... Oh. Mm. Maybe you shouldn't worry so much about Opie and Anthony being fired and you should keep your marriage legs closed. Cunt! <laughs> <laughs> Dirty cunt! Oh, she really, really tried to lead the way to get us fired yes, again. Yes, she did, because apparently... Hanging, she had our people hanging outside this very studio every single day with the, those stupid cameras. Well, he told friends her affair just took his heart out, the pal said. <sighs> friends said Cohen had believed the relationship was a recent development, but Zahn's book shows their relationship was much more long-term than Cohen had ever ever suspected. Oh, I can't wait till this gets out. This has been going on at least a couple of years, another friend said. It clearly spells out the relationship. There's no mystery. It had plenty of detail. Look at this next line, yeah. The friend described the book as something like a high school girl would write. It's childlike and devastating. Wow. This so she was all frothed up, all lathered up over this guy. and Wow. Isn't that, wasn't her husband, too... The guy who lived in the building with that, that rare bird, the fucking hawk that Eric went to see. Yeah, yeah hawk went for hawk. It was hawk it was for hawk, hawk or something. Was, uh, wasn't that the <laughs> some fucking... Some stupid named thing. Wasn't that the building that had the rare bird? Yeah, yeah. husband was like the, uh, the... What are they called? The groups that... Conservationists? No, 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 no. Uh, what? Uh, cunt? No. Oh, no, no, no. She's a cunt. <laughs> He's a cunt magnet. He attracts cunts. 
Uh, he's ahead of the board. Uh, Co-op board. Co-op. Oh, okay. Sure. Co-op board. Uh, and uh, as at the time the pair hooked up, Colin and Freiburg <laughs> were playing <laughs> golf together. Blueberries. Together. Oh. <laughs> their families spend time with each other. So apparently their While family... eating blueberries together. Eating yeah. blueberries. Uh, Blueberry. the, so they're friends. The husband's playing golf. And apparently, judgmental piglet wife is doing dirty things mm. with Mr. Farrell. Mm. And writing them down and <laughs> jotting them down. Jotting down what? Today. The jotting down what? Illicit, uh, the illicit ah. details. With who? Uh, with, uh, between Paul and me, uh, oh, between, uh, between Cunt and Farrell. <laughs> um, Today's the day. I'm going to give up my ass <laughs> to Prime Lord. I'm going to marry you. Hey, oh. hey, Paula. Paula. I want to oh. fuck your ass. I love Mr. Prime Lord. He's Farmer. so dreamy. Oh. oh. He yes. treats my cunt like a Navy vessel and deposits semen in it. She puts a smiley face. CNN.com. She said it's childlike, so. Yeah, exactly. She put little hearts over the eyes. Today he pissed in my, in my, in my, what else has an eye? Oh, oh shit. He put his, he put his dick between my tits and the dick and the tits have little hearts over the eyes in a schoolgirl fashion. <laughs> Roses are red. Violets are blue. He took a shit on my chest. It was like stew. <laughs> Roses are red. Violets are blue. I'm a cunt. How about you? <laughs> dirty, dirty Paula. I love it. Freiburg, a father of <laughs> a father of four is now getting divorced from his stunning wife, Josebeth. Josebeth. Apparently he met her in a Bible. Josebeth. Josebeth. <laughs> Zahn, 51, and Cohn. Having yet filed for divorce papers. And Cohn's friend said they, uh, they were trying to work out an amicable agreement until Friday when Zahn socked him with a lawsuit demanding he account for the whereabouts of her estimated $25 million in earnings. Apparently, oh. she was too busy to look after them because she was sucking the dirty CEO ball bag of Mr. Fireborn. <laughs> Apparently, she was too busy to look after her earnings because she was attacking the Opie and Anthony show and licking the withered asshole of a superbar <laughs> and jotting it down in a jotting in a tell-all book, uh, which may I don't know how her husband found it. Maybe she had it in a file mm. in her folder on her computer <laughs> called Cunt and Freiburg, <laughs> and he looked. Uh, the suit accuses Cohen, who's acted as Zahn's financial manager since 1986, of putting much of her money into highly liquid limited liability mm. companies. Apparently, the only liquid she liked was a salty beverage <laughs> fired from the cock and balls of the said Mr. Freiburg. Fired between her tits, dot that eye with a little heart and childlike fashion, into her cunt slash mouth. <laughs> Both are the same thing. Should the Opie and Anthony show be fired? I don't know, but neither one of them cheats, do they? Cunt. <laughs> Dirty little cunt. Uh, we've been waiting to have some dirt on this bitch. Oh, uh, you filthy. She spent day after day trying to get us fired when no one else gave a shit she about that story. She couldn't that happened to us. stop yep. bringing other women and empowering other women on and up. Uh, Apparently, allegedly, naughty little piglet was yes. doing things with But who was she seat. naughty with? I don't, oh, I don't remember. Phil Freiburg. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Lazan, her niece for Freiburg. <laughs> if I may borrow a bit. <laughs> it also <laughs> charged that some of her earnings had been diverted to Mr. Cohen's individual account oh. for his own use and benefit. Maybe he was paying for therapy because his wife was acting as a cum receptacle for the said CEO. Yes. <laughs> We're trading, trading assets, and that's right. He was making a few deposits on himself, wasn't he? 
Paula ba- Paula Zahn was super bad. She was Paula Zahn away <laughs> to the Moscow. She was super bad. Mr. Freiburg, apparently while they were playing golf, he was using her cunt as a hole to deposit his ball in. <laughs> the naughty, naughty Paula Zahn <laughs> wrote it all down in childlike schoolgirl fashion, even though she's 51, <laughs> and her cunt <laughs> Looks, looks like, like there was some something old. Balls of fairy. <laughs> <laughs> a source close to Cohen and Zahn was actually the one using smoke and mirror. I'm sorry. A, a close. Mm. A source close to Cohen yeah. said Zahn was actually the one using smoke and mirrors in a bid to try to weasel out of their prenuptial agreement. Ah. She wants. One way or another to break the agreement and to go after his entire net worth, the source uh, said of the out of work TV personality. Is she off the air? Uh, I don't yeah. know. She's oh, done. Oh, good. Ah. Apparently, the almost 52 year old con <laughs> trying to get radio jocks fired should have been busy. Maybe she that, was displaying fun. appalling behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, uh, hey, Paula, that HD uh, TV's a bitch, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Paula's on the chopping block yeah, since yeah, HD yeah. can't hide her wrinkles. <laughs> Uh, almost done here. <laughs> Richard would like to end this in keeping with total regard for the prenup, which will still leave her a very wealthy woman with tens of millions of dollars. The source also angrily denied a report that Cohen refused to come to terms. All right, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that's nonsense. Call it blah, 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 blah. She's a cunt. A seed of draining his large ball bag into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and gargling with it before kissing my husband. Ah, uh, blah, 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 uh, Zahn's lawyers. Wait a minute. I don't think that was part God, of the I story. I'm on to you now. I'm on to you. I apologize. I don't want to bore the listeners. I'm just trying to zip through the details. Zahn's lawyers, blah, 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 52-year-old. Twat looks 60, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Obsessed over radio shows. Should have been keeping her legs closed in the marriage bed. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Con, 51, plus I, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Seed <laughs> in hair, blah, 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 blah. Uh, hair stood up uh, like a porcupine. Husband said, what is that? <laughs> smells like my buddy. I'm Blah, 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 while they're teeing off. I shouldn't have written it down in hearts, little I, LOL, like schoolgirl, blah, 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 con, con, See, I can't. <laughs> die in uh, I can't do the voice, <laughs> but Bill from Waterford. <laughs> Paul is on, went to suck on a Halloween. Halloween. Okay. Okay. I love that fucking A little bit. <laughs> oh, I ran fast. Mm. That was great. What does Goldblum say about it? Why, why, Gold bloom. What am I missing here? Why are so many Jews involved? Wait, let's say hi to Freiburg. Nick Wisconsin. I don't get this. Nick, what's up? Uh, yeah, guys, I was just wondering, um, what does our good friend Jeff Goldblum have oh, to I'm... say about Paul is on? Oh, 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 oh God. I, uh, See, we're a little slow. We're just getting back into what? the string of things. I'm not uh, sure. And a rock, rock scream. scream to boot. Nice. Rock, nah, nah, nah. Uh, yes, uh, let's uh, Jeff Goldblum, <laughs> go to Jeff thoughts? Goldblum. I kill rich cunt. <laughs> God damn rich cunt. Cunt. Uh, well, I don't mean to say I'm um, cunt. Can I just say that? Paula Zahn didn't want her husband to find out that Mr. Frederick had her knocked off. <laughs> According to her manuscript, uh, she wrote. <laughs> Mr. Fryerborg <laughs> chains me down like a stuck pig and uses my mouth like a pocket pussy. <laughs> Her husband wasn't happy to read this. <laughs> 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 I'm so happy. You know, Speaking great? of cunt. Oh. I'm so happy. Samantha from Sex and the City, come on. Speaking of cunt. Speaking of cocks in my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, why don't you leave a little to the imagination there, Samantha? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, imagination. Oh. I just want to imagine a big cock up my ass. There you go. Oh, oh Samantha. Right. You're so wild. You're the wild old bag of the show, aren't, aren't you? Ya? You fucking unlubed old sack. <laughs> 
speaking of which. Yeah. So we're all out here to lunch, just sipping on our little coffee at some hip, trendy uh, restaurant here in Manhattan. And sharing secrets. Sharing little secrets. So what'd you do last night? I must have sucked 20 cogs. <laughs> oh, Samantha. Oh, you're the wild one. You're crazy. You? Well, I pushed the <laughs> elevator button last night to go up to my room. What happened? 20 guys fucked me. Wow. wow you're just... You just get fucked at every turn. You're just edgy, aren't you? Speaking of turning, I'll turn around and let him fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Boy, wow, you really shocked us with that little secret, Samantha. Shocking. Boy. Is that the word? I can't sit through <laughs> one advertisement of that fucking show. TBS has sex in the city. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> Do they? Uh. they go around the table. There's some cute little secrets. Uh, yeah. Samantha, Jesus. Samantha, you know, I love Essex. <gasps> oh, wh why so much ex Essex? Well, my fucking uterus <laughs> fell out ten years ago. <laughs> So all the only hole I have left that even resembles a pussy is my asshole. <laughs> oh, Samantha, and, you're wild. And I would stretch that out last night with that black eye. <laughs> <laughs> I met at yoga class. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of yoga. Speaking of yoga, <laughs> I can now bend in a new position where I could suck a dick, get fucked in the ass, and the pussy at the same time. Thanks to yoga, if there's no cocks around, I could eat myself out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Samantha. Oh, you're just a wild Oh, one. you're wild. Would you like some more tea? Oh, oh tea? <laughs> How about tea bag my face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Samantha. Yuck. <laughs> uh, I was watching that show. Awful Me uh, writes, opiates to impressions as John Ritter is to breathing. Thank you. Oh. That's not nice. All right, that's First day hurt. back from vacation. Yeah, give us a break. You break my ass. <laughs> <laughs> God damn my brother. God bless. Uh, God bless Elmo for coming up with that observation that's a back great in the one. day. Love that one. Because <laughs> usually when you say speaking of or something, you're kind of going to make it subtle. But she, oh, it was, it was always fun. something over the top. Yeah. I gotta go shopping. To speaking of shopping, let me tell you what happened in the dressing room. I had three cogs in my ass. <laughs> I stuck the mannequin head in my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. We uh, get it. You're yes. saucy. <laughs> You're a saucy old broad, aren't you? Yeah. Salt of the earth, aren't you? That's touched? it. Not shy in the least, You're are you? A cougar. <laughs> oh, the guys are all still <laughs> after you, aren't they? Yeah, sure they are. Dude, how funny is cougars now, man? Oh, See, before, like, uh, someone came up with the whole cougar thing. Cougar. There were women out there, a bit on the older side. They they do dollied themselves up, painted up their yeah. faces, and they were looking for young cock in the bars. <laughs> I was in the res a restaurant the other night, and I saw nothing but cougars at the bars were walking through. I was laughing my ass off, because now it's like they have to Dude, know they're they cougars. they have cougar and nights. everyone's looking at them laughing. They have cougar nights at bars. Cougar night. Where it's like, here come a bunch of old broads. Come on, young guys. You just want to get your dick wet? Easy pickings. By the way, I feel much better. Awful me. He he, he wrote back. Thank you, awful me. He writes, oh. I, I put the winky eye. Okay, thank you. Speaking of winky eye. <laughs> <laughs>